waking up in the morning and hopping straight out of bed, not through force, not fighting with myself, convincing myself to get out of bed, but just easily and comfortably stepping out of bed and into the day, ideally with a mindset of, I can achieve anything I want today, and I'm ready to do just that. That's my idea of a perfect morning. If you have some sort of idea of how you would really like your mornings to be, then I want you to keep that image in mind, and let's work on moving towards making this pleasant image a reality. And you can start by making yourself comfortable now, settling down for this time. And when you're ready, you can allow your eyes to close and begin by bringing your attention to the top of your head. You may or may not know that tension can often build in the little muscles of the scalp. So trying to find that tension, and if you can now, allowing those muscles to relax and to let go as you bring that focus to the forehead now. Relaxing the muscles of the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes, and the eyelids now too. Feeling the skin settle now, smoothing out as you relax the muscles in the cheeks as well. The jaw muscles, the mouth and the tongue. And the more your body relaxes, the more your mind is able to relax also. Down into the neck muscles now. Around and down into the shoulders allowing the shoulders to drop and settle now as you continue that wave of relaxation into the tops of the arms, through the biceps, down into the elbows, into the forearms now, around the wrists and down into the palms of your hands. Allowing that relaxing sensation to rest in the palms for just a moment before following it into each individual finger. The little fingers, into the ring fingers, the middle fingers, into the index fingers, and finally your thumbs as the whole of your hands become completely loose and completely relaxed. Over to the chest now. Relaxing the muscles in the chest as you focus on each relaxing breath. Noticing how the breath has already become slower and calmer. Each breath allowing the body and the mind to sink just a little further down into that comfortable state. The back muscles now, the shoulder blades, down the two long muscles either side of the spine. Following those muscles down into the lower back muscles, relaxing these areas as you go, around the hips and into the stomach muscles now, allowing the stomach to become calm and settled, around the waist, down through the glutes, and further down now into your legs, starting with the main thigh muscles. Keep on going further down now, slowly until you reach the knees. Then again further down, downwards into the shins now, the calves. Relaxing the muscles in the lower legs now, 
as you follow that feeling into the ankles, down into the feet, the bottoms of the feet, the soles, the arches on the insides of your feet, and all the way down now to the very tips of your toes as all the muscles and fibers of the entire body become so beautifully relaxed now and calm. To successfully create this new habit of waking up full of energy at your ideal time, getting out of bed easily, comfortably, alert and ready for the day. It is essential that we are keeping on top of a few important things. Things that this track will aid you in drawing your attention towards and helping the subconscious to open up to so you can start making progress in these areas. Waking up with energy, getting out of bed easily, alert and ready for the day. During this time, it isn't necessary that you hear or understand everything that is said here or not said there. It's more important that you allow your mind to relax, your body to relax too, and allow yourself this time to do nothing else other than to relax. If you fall asleep during this time, then that's absolutely fine. The subconscious parts of the mind are still listening and will continue to act upon the information it receives. And if you stay awake, then that is absolutely fine too. And you may find your mind wandering from time to time, thinking about the day thinking about things to come, people that you've spoken to, people that you've spent time with, things that you've been doing, and this is all just part of the process. Allow the mind to do as it pleases, wondering if it wants to, and when you notice you've got distracted, you can gently bring your attention back to the words again in a calm and comfortable way. There really is nothing that you can do wrong here. Always aiming for a decent amount of hours sleep each night. Nothing makes waking up harder than not having a good night's sleep in the first place. Finding our body's perfect amount of sleep is then the key. The average being seven, eight, or nine hours sleep, but everybody is different. Too little can leave you energyless and unmotivated. And you might be surprised to learn that too much can actually do the same. Overdoing it on your sleep uses energy as well, draining you before you've even started the day. So finding that good balance. The trick is to take note of the time that you naturally wake up. If you've given yourself plenty of time to have a good night's sleep and you wake up naturally after say seven or eight hours and your alarm hasn't gone off yet, this might be a sign that this is your body's ideal amount of sleep. Going back to sleep after this sort of waking is likely to make you more tired and to make it more difficult to get out of bed when your alarm does go off. And obviously, if you're finding that when your alarm goes off, that you're still absolutely knackered, maybe you need to have a bit more sleep. Wouldn't it be nice if you were able to wake up after that ideal number of hours? 
And once you've opened your eyes, immediately appreciating what a great night's sleep you've had. As you stretch your arms out, feet already on the floor, and stand up out of bed without even thinking about it. Wouldn't it be nice if there was no need for internal dialogue encouraging you to wake up? No extra alarms, maybe even no alarm at all. Wouldn't it be so nice to use that time usually spent trying to get out of bed to actually be ahead of yourself? Eating breakfast that much earlier, showering that much earlier, all dressed and ready for the day that much earlier. Free from feeling rushed first thing in the morning. Achieving low stress levels. One of sleep's most important jobs is clearing stress from the mind. Stress is most definitely tiring. If we hold a lot of stress, it can mean all sorts of problems for us. We can struggle to get to sleep at night. We can wake up in the middle of the night struggling to get back to sleep. In the day, it can cause anxiety, depression, anger, a lack of energy, a lack of focus, a lack of motivation, even memory issues, amongst many other symptoms. And importantly, in the mornings, it can mean we struggle to get up and out of bed. The brain and the body desperately wanting to sleep more and more. To get extra time to clear that stress. Wouldn't it be nice if we could operate at low manageable stress levels? Calm, confident, in control always reacting to situations how we want to react. Taking time to see the situation clearly. Wouldn't it be nice to have high energy levels throughout the day? Always motivated, always positive, always operating at your highest potential, able to do those things that you want to do because your willpower is sky high, because you are in control. Waking up full of energy, getting out of bed easily, quickly, alert and ready for the day. Let's find your reasons for doing this, to build your motivation, I want you to imagine for a moment that in some parallel universe, you wake up each morning at your ideal time to start the day. Getting out of bed straight away, starting the day in the best possible way. In this picture, what does your morning look like? How do you feel when you first open your eyes? Fresh, lively, ready. How do you know that you feel this way? What signs are there that tells you that you're feeling fantastic? And how does it feel? How does it feel to wake up feeling like this? And what difference does this make to your day? From the big things like how much you get done in the day, or your performance at work, 
your mood perhaps. Feeling happy and engaging with the people around you. Friends, family. How about people you don't know? Naturally being your upbeat and funny self. Maybe taking time to focus on your goals. Things that you've been meaning to do. Exercising perhaps. Preparing healthy meals. Finally getting on with that thing you've really wanted to be doing for a long time but always being held back by a lack of motivation. But not today. And even the small things. How does this affect the small things in the day? Things like having a healthy and filling breakfast. How about tidying your bed first thing when you wake up? In this ideal world, up and ready for the day full of energy, 15 minutes earlier perhaps, so that you're not rushing to do anything, just taking your time. Maybe you took a moment to really enjoy that breakfast. A good breakfast being present in that moment. Having a nice shower. Doing your hair nicely perhaps. Dressing smartly even though you've not got anything special to do today. Just having the extra time and feeling in a great mood. Perhaps you called up a friend in the day who you haven't spoken to in a while. Or made time to see a family member. Really building this ideal picture. This version of you who has a great sleep routine and wakes up in the morning full of energy. At a good time feeling energetic and motivated for the day. There's so many ways a good routine like this can help you throughout the day. Some ways that you could never hope to predict, catching you completely by surprise. Consider this for a moment. A young girl is at work and something at work goes quite wrong. Her boss is getting really agitated at the situation, feeling flustered and not knowing what to do to fix the problem. On any other day, the young girl would have just made herself scarce, trying to avoid the situation so she doesn't get caught up in the drama or even blamed. But not today. She's feeling so calm, so on the ball after starting today so well, that almost immediately she can see clearly what has happened. She has a clear mind and without hesitation, she is able to come up with a great suggestion to fix the problem. Something that her boss, in his flustered state of mind, his unrested state of mind, could have never thought of. They really thank her for her input, and that gratitude and recognition really gives her a boost for the rest of the day. Without realizing it, her routine has made a huge difference to that day. Without realizing it, your routine makes a huge difference to each and every day. And you never know what you might be missing out on by not giving yourself the opportunity to be the best version of yourself. Rested, positive, motivated, and happy. In a different parallel universe, a young man wakes up, he has a ton of stuff to do, 
things he'd been avoiding for some time. But for some reason today, he's in a well-rested state of mind. He hopped out of bed first thing in the morning, and he's decided to do the dishes straight away. He doesn't usually do it, but for some reason he's put some music on while he did it to distract himself, making the task just a little bit more enjoyable. Whilst listening to the radio, one of his favourite songs comes on, and it really lifts him up. Before he knew it, he had already done the dishes, reorganised the kitchen cupboard, wiped down the kitchen surfaces. He's feeling so good that he called up a friend and arranged a catch-up which was long overdue. He wondered why he left it so long, because he enjoys spending time with that person. And that person was so happy that he got in touch and they had a really nice catch-up. Over the days and weeks and months and years, we have no idea how much of a difference this is making. So you can take a moment to really congratulate yourself now on making the decision to make a change here, to work towards living a more fulfilled life. And it's surprising at how much of a difference even a tiny change can make. And you will begin to appreciate when you have made a positive change, no matter how small. Enjoying those positive changes that allow you to make the most out of your life. Out of your time in this wonderful world. Getting up in the morning, hopping out of bed, alert, waking up with energy. I'd like to now tell you a story. When the sun rises each morning, its glorious orange glow marks the end of night and the beginning of a bright new day. But to the people on one particular farm, it wasn't a brand new day to them. The farmer felt tired and irritable as he tugged on his boots and walked to the cow buyer. As the sunrise deepened, red and gold, the farmer's wife frowned as she kneaded dough in the kitchen. As shafts of light showered the farm, The farmer's elderly mother grumbled that she felt cold as she lit the grate in the fire. But the farm's handsome cockerel felt invigorated as he fluttered up onto his high perch. His eyes were the shade of the morning sun as he looked out at the world. He was filled with exhilarating excitement and vigour as he crowed. He crowed to meet the day, to mark his territory, and to express his absolute delight at being alive. And his crow was lusty, loud, and long. You are in control. Already in many ways, you are living your life as you want to be. Many of the aspects that make up the person you truly wish to be are already aspects of your current life, of your present personality. You are able and willing to make changes in your life, positive changes that help you to live your life to the fullest. You've lived through many days in your life, through times that have made you a more understanding, more caring and loving person, through times that have taught you how to be resilient and strong, building you up to be the person you are now today. 
These next steps in your life seem pretty trivial in comparison, and although it can feel like you struggle with simple things, the truth is that you really are in control, and you simply need to transfer those skills that got you to where you are now, and focus them into each new step forward. And the subconscious parts of your mind are beginning to understand now what this means to you, why it's important that you keep moving forward and achieving a little more each day. And so it begins to help you, reminding you of your next steps, keeping you focused, keeping you moving forward at all times. And one day you're going to wake up wide awake and while you're hopping out of bed just moments later, wonder how you ever used to struggle in the first place. Waking up full of energy, hopping out of bed quickly, easily, lively, alert and ready for the day. That comfortable, pleasant image in the mind. Those comforting thoughts drifting. Each and every breath relaxing you and calming you as your body relaxes and your mind relaxes with it, filling you completely. I would like you to imagine that you are in a sailing boat, all alone, floating on a lake. All around are mountains, their steep sides covered with forests of pine trees, their peaks capped with snow. You have sailed to the very centre of the lake, enjoying the fresh, clean air. The scent of the pine forests carried on the breeze that drives the boat forward, filling the sails at a gentle but exhilarating pace. The splash and gurgle of the water as the boat cuts through the gentle swell. The creaking of the rigging and the crack of the sails as they fill with each gentle gust of air. You can be aware of how good you feel, alone with your own thoughts, alone with the sounds of nature all around. A calm, natural peace that knows no concerns or troubles, nothing disturbs that peace, nothing bothers you at all. Now the wind drops to almost nothing, the sails flap limply as they empty of the wind that drives the boat forward. The surface of the water becomes calm, still, flat as a mill pond. The surface ruffled only now and then by a gentle zephyr. You feel the sun warming your skin, comfortably warm, soothing and relaxing you. The quiet surrounds you now, broken only by the gurgle of the water beneath the hull, the faint sounds of birdsong, the occasional splash as a fish rises to take an insect. Calm, peaceful tranquility surrounds you and envelops you. And you lie down on a soft cushion on the bottom of the boat, unconcerned at the lack of wind, knowing that the engine is there and in perfect working order when and if required. You look up at the crystal clarity of the blue sky. Small clouds, perfect and white, hang above and around the tops of the mountains, visible from where you are, so relaxed and comfortable. The still air carries the sounds of some fishermen, casting their lines from the shore. And there the distant tone of a church bell calms you relaxing you more and more 
with each note. High in the sky, a jet trail marks the progress of an airliner, etching its progress towards the far reaches of this wonderful world. And you relax even deeper, feeling within a calm, comfortable heaviness that is so pleasant and so very nice. The boat drifts, rising and falling with the almost non-existent swell. You are looking now at the very tip of the mast as it sways gently. It appears to touch the clear blue sky above. The air is so clean here, you can taste it and you feel the calm tranquility. Absorb that gentle peace. And you drift too with thoughts that are pleasant and calming. You breathe in peace and calm with every gentle breath, breathing out anxiety and stress. Here you have time to reflect on those things that have caused you stress. You have time now to assess carefully and with clarity never before available to you the importance and the relevance of so many different things. You realize that you've fallen into a habit of reacting in a manner which has proved stressful for you. You resolve now to ignore the red flags and to calmly reflect and decide on the most peaceful and effective way to live your life. Calmly, confidently, in control. Knowing that you are in control of you and of your own life. Things that are stressful are so because we allow them to be. And you are now that person who is aware that you do have the choice. You choose to be calm and unaffected by the rush and the hurry. To make unhurried and calculated decisions that are the right ones for you and those who are important to you. You can be aware now of the peace, the calm, the confidence that fills you, expanding within you, and you enjoy the stillness, the warmth of the sun, the subtle sounds of nature all around, the sights and the scents that can allow you to be aware of the larger world, the depth of the water beneath you, the natural world at peace with itself as all troubles and cares fade into unimportance, insignificance. You feel so much stronger now, aware that the strength comes from deep within you. It was there all the time, perhaps hidden for a while beneath turmoil and stress, but no longer shrouded by a veil of negativity and a lack of confidence. It shines through and you recognize the strength that is yours and resolve now to use that which is yours to your highest benefit. As the boat drifts, you know that it can be so easy. So easy to allow the prevailing winds to take you wherever they will. But in your vessel, you have the power, when the winds blow, to tack and to steer, using the winds as you choose to guide which is the right way for you. And you have in reserve too, that engine, that power that can mean to you that you have complete choice in the way that you go. But it can be pleasant to drift, knowing that you can choose freedom, calm, confidence, and you will, will you not. If you ever feel burdened and stressed, you can choose to get in your boat and drift whenever you need to, whenever you want to, using the strength that is yours.
and so growing stronger and stronger with each and every passing day. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next one.